You're looking at trash that has been dumped inside a waterway in the San Francisco Bay. Trash left there by residents of this homeless encampment located under the Cesar Chavez on-ramp on Highway 280. <laughs> this is an area so hostile and dirty that even rats don't live long. The water around the area is so polluted, the smell permeates your clothes because the residents were using the water as a public restroom and tossing anything unwanted into the water. Like the shopping carts and insulation from copper wires that were stolen from various locations. I had to wear rubber gloves and cloth gloves just to move around the encampment to show you some of this video. I tagged along with the State Safety Patrol, a unit of the California Highway Patrol that has the job of keeping watch of all state properties. They took me on a tour of four different homeless encampments located under or inside the highways in San Francisco. One thing that every encampment had in common, syringes, whether capped or uncapped. Uncapped needle. One encampment in the Bayview required us to hike up this hill about a quarter of a mile, where we found live chickens. Be careful of him, he, he, he'll go off you. Along with trash and public restrooms in the bushes, so gross, I decided not to even show you the video. The interesting thing is that just about every encampment, bikes and bike parts, including this one, that police checked to see if it was stolen. Another encampment under the King Street on-ramp to the 280 has this no trespassing sign, where as you can see, it is ignored. In fact, all the encampments had such signs, but they were removed and destroyed by the illegal residents. And no matter how many times the area is cleaned up... On January 4th, for, for the same thing, uh, trespassing and lodging. They return and the process starts all over again, being paid for by you. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.